Hello everybody, welcome to another Facebook Friday. It's Frilici Friday. I'm Amy Frilici and we are on the last day of May. Can you guys believe it? Where did May go, right? So May 31st, so much good stuff ending today, you guys. But we'll talk about that in just a sec. I wanna share with you guys what we are going to be playing with today. So this is the gorgeous, I absolutely love, this is, hello, Miss Teresa. This is the Mediterranean Blooms Designer Series paper. I'm trying to see, I have it kind of separated here. Uh, let me just flash this up here, right? Okay, so, woo, check this out, right? So the Mediterranean Blooms Designer Series paper. Think like lemons and oranges, right? In the Mediterranean, lots of beautiful yellows and oranges and greens. On this side, hello, Susan, and welcome, welcome. And then on the other side, beautiful. I didn't even realize at first all of these beautiful kind of navy blue and white tile i feel like like a mediterranean tile but isn't that so check that out right so much fun so whichever side you prefer actually i think i need a couple packs of this paper because i can see loving and playing with the oranges and the lemons on one side and then the beautiful blue tiles on the other side so i and actually i have treat boxes so miss linda who is one of our regular participants here on facebook live we were kind of chit chatting back and forth messaging um, and I think I had, you know, kind of asked, is there anything I can do for you guys? Anything that you'd love to see? Anything that I could be doing better or different? And her, she was very gracious. She said, you know, you're doing a great job, in which I appreciated. Um, but she had suggested making treat boxes. So I was like, okay, I love to make treat boxes. So I have probably two of my absolute favorites. I make them all the time. Maybe you've seen them before, but I think they look different like every single time I make them because it just depends on uh, what paper cardstock um, that you're using. So hello Miss Nicole, welcome, welcome. So yeah, I'm super excited to share those uh, fun treat boxes with you today. And then of course lots of other stuff like I said going on. We have, so designer series paper share, if you're interested in that, I'll flash that up. Oh good, Stormy, you're laying down here. Yeah, I was, um, a delayed a moment or two. Lisa, hello and welcome. Uh, good to see you too, Miss Susan. Um, yeah, delayed for a couple of minutes to get onto Facebook Live because the next door neighbor dog, people were walking by and they were going really slow. And he like has a conniption fit whenever anyone, anyone like gets near his house. So anyway, I was like, okay, we're gonna just wait for the conniption fit to be over before we turn Facebook Live on. So I apologize that we were um, a moment or two late in getting started. But yes, happy Friday to you, Miss Susan. Susan. Okay, so designer series paper share. I still have two of these paper shares left. So let me know. Check it out one more time. So this is everything you can get in the designer series paper share. A quarter of a pack of all of our gorgeous paper in our annual catalog. I'm looking for my flyer. I'm pretty sure it's $45 for all of that paper. It's a great, great deal. Um, I'm having so much fun. I love, I love having a paper share on hand too, because it's a great way for me to kind of, oh, okay, what do I want to make? And then I just flip through all my paper and can decide what paper pack I want to use. So very handy. So I kind of don't want to get rid of my last one, right? Because then I always have it on hand, but that's okay. I'd love to get it out to you guys. So let me know if you're interested. I would be happy to get a paper share um, together and out to you. Uh, $10 for the um, additional, the priority mail shipping. Um, but yeah, I think it's $45 for a paper share. So then as well, In Color Club, if you're interested in that, we have those beautiful In Colors, our new In Colors, Petunia Pop, um, Peach Pie, Summer Splash, Mm, shy shamrock and I'm for pretty in pink. So those are our five new in colors. If you're interested, there's still time to join the in color club. You get all of the products <clears throat> in each of those five colors, one month for five months. Uh, that cost is $60. You get cardstock, ink pad, ink refill, bordered ribbon, marker, blends, and designer series paper every single month in each of those colors. $60 per month for five months. One month you're the host and you get $20 in free stuff, whatever you want, and the in-color embellishments. <clears throat> 
So hello, Miss Fanny, and welcome, welcome. It's a great way to kind of um, budget your funds and get all of those great in colors over the next five months. So still taking participants in that as well, okay? Um, oh, and then also I have been kind of feverishly prepping for my uh, local new catalog kickoff and buy one, get one free event. I love, this is, um, well, actually, I think this is like a top note die. That's what it looks like. So I order these postcards from Vistaprint. I've been using Using this exact same postcard for years and years because I love it. I think it's so cute. Um, if you're local, I hope I sent one of these postcards to you. Um, we have, so it's actually next week on Wednesday, June 5th, is the new catalog kickoff and buy one, get one free event right here in Alma. Hi, Angie. Welcome. So you should come. New catalog kickoff and buy one, get one free event. Angie is a local friend. Um, next Wednesday, June 5th, I think it is. Hello, Mike. How are you? I, maybe you want to come too to my buy one, get one free event uh, next Wednesday. So again, right here in Alma, Wednesday, June 5th, the 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., right here at the Peace Lutheran Church in Alma, which is at 325 East Warwick Drive, right across from the hospital and the physical rehab center. So love to have you join us. I'm going to have lots of fun new products. We're going to have make and takes to make with new product. Um, let's see, I'll have lots of samples and swaps and things showing lots of fun new projects from our new or products right? Projects featuring products from our current and brand new annual catalog. If you don't have an annual catalog, come grab one. I'll have those available for you. And then the reason why most people come, <laughs> oh, bum, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's too bad, huh? I'm sure you are happy to have a good excuse to be in Ohio. Well, if you're back um, from Ohio in time, you can always help me pack up Wednesday night. How's that? <laughs> I'm sure that'll be a big, oh no, I'm not coming back to um, Michigan until like Thursday or something, right? Um, okay, so what was I saying? Oh yeah, buy one, get one free event. That's the main reason people love to come to this event. Um, <laughs> it's a hop, skip, and a jump. Yeah, especially in summertime, right? At least it's like probably a beautiful day for a drive, right, Susan? So not, it's not super close, but, um, you know, not totally unreasonable, right? Um, okay, so yes, buy one, get one free of it. Okay, you're back Friday. Okay, now I know. I didn't even know what you, um, I forgot about that, that you're in Ohio next week, but we'll chat about that when I see you this weekend. How's that? Um, okay, so one more time, I'm going to talk about the buy one, <laughs> one free event. So what I do is I have gone through my craft room, even though as I look around here, it doesn't really feel like it, but I actually have cleaned out anything that has retired from my craft room. I've priced that at full catalog value. So whatever the stamp set cost or dies cost, whatever it was, those are priced at full catalog value. I put all of that out on tables over at the church. It's the Peace Lutheran Church. You come and you shop from all my retired product. Then you pick up one of your brand new annual catalogs if you don't have that. And I always give the example of if you find $50 in retired product from the tables, then you get $50 for free out of the new annual catalog. You still pay the shipping and the sales tax on the new catalog stuff. But it's a great way for me to clean out my craft room for you guys to get an awesome deal on things that maybe you missed out on getting from our catalogs over the past few years. Um, and then you get free stuff out of our new annual catalog. So it's like a win, 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 I say for like everybody. I feel like we could say win even a couple more times. But yeah, so great, great deal. So again, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. right here in Alma. I have, I posted it on a bunch of like Facebook yard sale groups and marketplace and I've had lots and lots of messages of, hey, do you have this? Do you have that? Are you going to do it online? I honestly haven't figured out whether I'm going to do it online or not. It's a lot of work and I generally don't have tons of participation um, with the online stuff. So I'm kind of trying to figure out, I'm going to definitely take pictures of everything, whether it's like individual, because that's what I usually do is I take pictures of every stamp set, every set of dies, every embossing folder that I have left over. And then I post it to a Facebook, like buy one, get one free group. Um, and then you can shop from there. But obviously that's a ton of work to take all of those pictures, get them all uploaded. Um, so I may just take pictures of, you know, like rows of stamp sets. So you can't actually see the stamp sets, but you'd be able to see all the names of everything. 
So I'm kind of toying with what I'm gonna do. Basically, I'm gonna get it figured out <laughs> on Wednesday at the end of the day at six o'clock when I go to pack everything up, I'm gonna figure out like, how do I wanna do this? So I'll keep you posted on that. Watch out. If anybody's interested, if you're looking for anything in particular, please message me, send me an email. Um, and I can definitely, that's probably the easiest way is just if, give me a list of what you're looking for. I'll see if I have it. And if I do, you can shop from BOGO too. So. Um, that would be awesome, right? So also, if you're local, if you bring a new friend to the Buy One Get One Free event, you get your name and a special drawing as well. So keep that in mind, okay? <clears throat> I'm like reading through my little postcard here. Um, what else am I, have I forgotten anything? I don't know, I think that's about it. So yeah, okay, so that's next Wednesday. All right, I think, let's go ahead. Are we on that point? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so we are gonna draw for, what do we have here today? We are giving away, these are the beautiful, this is the Trio of Pearls, which are unorderable right now, so the only way you can get these is if your name is in my drawing right now. So beautiful, I can't remember the colors, but it's kind of a pinky purpley, I'm gonna say um, kind of a neutral color, and then maybe that's Calypso Coral, kind of an orangey color, but can you kind of see the sparkly beautifulness of that? them. <laughs> I like to make up my own words around here. I don't know if you figured that out yet or not, but you know, just to like extra, um, like, I don't know, not enunciate, but just, you know, just extra, extra beautiful. So that beautiful mess, right? <laughs> Sorry. I'm like tongue tied today, but okay. So here we go. I am separating these all out. Your name is in this drawing right here. If you shared our last Facebook Live video, one entry if you did that, five entries if you share this video to a paper crafting group or a crafting group that you're a part of. Um, if you, what else? If you shared a picture of a project that you made, if you signed up for my email list. And last way, comment, comment, comment on all of my Facebook posts because I picked one random post um, the night before Facebook Live when I'm prepping and I say, oh, Okay, anybody that commented on that post gets their name in here also. Okay, so here we go. I'm just shaking these babies up. Can you guys hear them all rattling around in here? And we have one name in my hand. <laughs> Miss Vina, who's such a good sharer and participant. She loves to post on our Facebook group, share our Facebook page. Um, posts and um, comments. So thank you, Miss Vina, for all of your participation and congratulations on winning the Trio of Pearls. Okay, so we will get those sent out to you. Oops, okay, hold on. I need to, I'm gonna dump those out. I don't wanna just dump them on the floor, right? Cause then that's like kind of a big mess to clean up later. Okay, so on our next Facebook Live, which is going to be two weeks from today, so that puts it at June 14th. So I'm essentially, I don't know for sure, but just about every other Friday is kind of how the summer looks like it's working out to do Facebook Lives. The other thing I wanna make sure to mention is, you know, cause I know it's a little like, is she doing it this week or is this the off week? Um, but I always post, um, like the Thursday night before the Friday of Facebook Live, whether I'm going to be live or not. So if you're ever wondering, hop on this group, um, even Friday morning, and you'll see the post and it'll say whether I'm gonna be doing a Facebook Live today or not. Usually try to post that Thursday evenings um, each and every single week, just so you guys know, so you can prepare and hopefully plan um, to be here with us for Facebook Live. Okay, so again, on our next Facebook Live, two weeks from today, I'm gonna open these up so you guys can see these. These are the, what are they called? The 2023-2025 In Color Sparkle, or the Opaque Sparkle Dots. So check these out. These are our In Colors that started last year, so we're heading toward, well, we've still got a year left basically with these, but so those are our um, In Colors, the Sparkle Opaque Opaque sparkle dots. I'm not going to remember that. It's like a, a huge mouthful, right? But beautiful, right? Can you guys see? They're um, 
yeah, they're, they actually are really sparkly. They're all one size, which is kind of nice too, because then you don't have to like decide, do I want to use the big ones? Do you want to use the little ones, the medium sized ones? They're all the same. Um, so that kind of gives you more of them. If I could read, I probably, I cannot read that fine print, but there are a bunch of them in here, I'll say. So that's what we're going to give away on our next Facebook, at our next Facebook live, right? Share this video, sign up for my email list, comment like crazy on the posts and share projects that you've made right here to our Facebook group and your name will go in the drawing to win those beautiful new sparkle, <laughs> sparkle opaque gems. That's what we're going to call them. Okay. Um, okay. So actually today also, oh my goodness, is the last day of our awesome starter kit deal. So um, yes, if you are interested in our new ink colors, this is another great way to get a bunch of product from um, with our new ink colors, right? So in the starter kit, you pick $125 in product, anything that you want. You get all five of the ink pads, a um, an assorted pack of the cardstock, all five of the markers, and a package of the ink color designer series paper. Again, plus $125 in stuff, whatever you want. You pay only $99 plus sales tax. The shipping fee is waived, but today is the last day. Um, so let's see. On my blog at Gathering Ink with a K, GatheringInspiration.com, I have a link for you to join there. I also, above this Facebook Live video, I'll include the link to um, buy the starter kit. Also, for the Designer Series Paper Share and the In Color Club, all of those links will be right there as well after I get this Facebook Live video uploaded to Facebook this afternoon. Okay, so if you have any questions, one last day to get that starter kit. I'd love for you to be a part of our group. I think we have a totally amazing and awesome group. With that being said, I would like to welcome, we have two new Inkspired stampers, Mary, Kenny, and Janice Smith, both thought this, excuse me, bought the, I'm like, tongue-tied, right? Bought the starter kit through Nancy Gulick, who is also one of our Inkspired stampers, which helped her. This is kind of fun. She had been um, kind of at silver status, and then I think she had, her downline members had dropped. So with um, getting just one of these new team members to buy the starter kit through her, that helped her bump back up to her silver status. So there are additional rewards for Nancy for um, reinitiating or re kind of reinstating herself back to silver status. The one really cool thing is um, it's, um, sorry, I'm getting like a little, <laughs> the wet, my weather app. It's the only thing that I allow to give me notifications and there's all kinds of like crazy weather going on these days, right? So sorry, I got distracted. Um, so yeah, silver, the best part about um, getting to silver status, she had, um, let's see, so she she was good with her sales. She needed $3,600 in rolling 12-month sales and one new team member. So she brought, uh, again, Janice and Mary onto her team. That helped her um, reinstate back to silver. And then she actually gets a 2% product bonus every single quarter now based on her quarterly sales. So I love that. Basically, um, you pop on at the beginning of the following quarter. So we're right now we're in the second quarter, right? We have April, May, and June. So at the end of June, they calculate what were your sales for the second quarter? What is 2% of that number? And then they pop in a product credit um, on your first demonstrator order in July. So you basically you get free stuff. Um, so that'll be awesome awesome for Nancy to um, be able to uh, take part in that, um, you know, that bonus to her um, this quarter. So that's very cool. And congratulations to Nancy and welcome to Janice and Mary. So, um, and again, we'd love for you to buy that starter kit and become a part of our Inkspired Stampers team as well. Anytime. Um, oh, and also like, let's see, what could you do? You could participate in cool things that like our team meeting that we do the third Tuesday of every month. So it'll be coming up again in June. On June 18th, we do make and takes, we do swaps, we do a mystery project. Anyone that makes it into the $600 club actually gets a fun prize from me as a um, congratulations for having more than $600 in sales in the quarter, which um, actually we gave away that trio of pearls. That's what everyone in the $600 club 
received those pearls last month. Every month it's a surprise, so who knows um, what you'll get for being in the $600 club in June. But let me show you, I can show you the make and takes that we made last month. Gorgeous cards featuring, <clears throat> so this is some of the petal pink and then there's a white like a diagonal striped ribbon this is the thoughtful journey designer series paper and then i think it's is it unbounded oh we're going to use them in a little bit i'll tell you what they are unbounded love or unbounded beauty i can't remember the stamp set and dies i don't know if you guys can see the little stitching there's two different size circles and a little bit of stitching around each of those so there was one of our make and takes. Was there anything? Oh yeah, and we used, actually, we put some of that beautiful, thoughtful Journey Designer Series paper on the inside of that one. This is another really cool one. So we've got this Thinking of You, um, and I think it's the Simply Said stamp set um, right here that's on our make and takes, but then check that out. Isn't that cool? Kind of how we use that Designer Series paper. I love how you can see it on the inside as well, right? And then that's the white, and here it is again, the white um, diagonal striped ribbon on this one. And we've got more beautiful. Oh, and then the other thing, we use some of the in-color gems as well. And then on the inside, we put that little piece right there. So it's fun to decorate, which I generally don't do. I'm not, I don't think of like doing that. This is a really fun, like, fun, it's a fun, fun fold card, you guys. Okay, so let me, I'm going to undo this bow because the ribbon actually... When you undo this, I'm trying to think of it. Is it stuck? Oh, I guess it is kind of stuck on there with that sentiment, right? With the birthday wishes. So this opens right here. And then this one opens right there. Isn't that cool? How fun is that, right? So you got that little flip and then that one right there. And then this just ties around in a bow to hold your card together. So isn't that beautiful? And again, gorgeous, gorgeous designer series paper. So if you buy the starter kit through me or anybody in my team, you can get the make and takes every single month. They are, um, let's see, $10 if you're local and come to the meeting, $15 if you need them mailed to you. But I give you everything that you need. Um, I even do the die cutting for you. I can't do the stamping, um, so you would need your own stamp set and ink, but everything else I'll do for you. Um, send you directions on how to make things or show them on our Facebook Live. That's another thing that we do, a team meeting on Facebook Live. Um, and then as well, we do a mystery project too. So this is kind of fun. This one I'll post um, kind of all of the measurements, everything that you need to know to make a card, but I don't show you the card. So it's like the mystery of like, what are we gonna be doing? And you cut and bring everything with you or with you to the meeting or um, online and then put your card together. So this one I would have given kind of dimensions of everything here um, and then showed actually, isn't that fun? That little pop-up, right? That little, little heart pop-up, right? So we've got a little in my thoughts with that fun little pop-up. So this is another fun thing that you can do to participate um, in our Inkspired Stampers team. And then as well, we do swapping. So again, if you're long distance, you can still participate in the swapping as well. Basically, you make one card, so design one card. Thanks, Susan, I'm glad you're enjoying all of these things. I appreciate your comments here too. Um, so yeah, you design one card and then make 10 of that exact same card. Send them off to me. So Teresa is a great example. Um, this is her swap, who Teresa I think is watching right now also. So beautiful swap card, which I actually... Let's open this up so we can see, because I feel like there's something kind of fun. Oh yeah, it's like one of those book binding. I love that, right? And then that's on the inside there too. Okay, so this is Teresa, made 10 of this card, put them in her clear envelopes, put her name on the back, and then mailed them to me. Then I take them to the meeting and trade them, swap them around with everybody. And she got all of these cards that I mailed back to her. So this was a fun card. I think this would be a great Father's Day card too. So this one, was from Carla Dilly. And then I think Carla made this one as well um, because she wasn't able to make swaps last month and she felt bad. And so she made two swaps this month for everybody. And that's that beautiful, it's not lovely as a tree. It might be loveliest tree. Um, and then here's this one right here from, I think this is Nancy. Oops, upside down. There we go. <laughs> I'm trying to read it. I'm like, Ah, isn't that, that one's awesome too. And we've got this, you're the best, plain and simple. That one's cute. This would be a great Father's Day card, right? 
We've got a beautiful happy birthday card. And this is from Jamie Sanders. And again, she is down in Ohio. So she will make those, mail them up to me. I trade them around and send all of these cards back to her. This is another one from Susie Meekumber. Love that. Lots of masculine cards, right? Perfect. Need those for Father's Day and manly birthdays. This is a swap card from Miss Beth Martin. I love all of that detail. So cute, right? And then let's see one more we have. This one is from Sunday Ostrander. All right, there we go. Isn't that awesome? And what is the sentiment? It says celebrating you today. I think that'd be another great Father's Day card as well. So beautiful swaps right there from the ladies. So again, if you are a part of our team, we'd love to have you swap with us. And if you're not a part of our team, get the awesome starter kit deal and you can swap and do make and takes and make mystery projects with us. It's lots and lots of fun, ladies. Um, okay. Just keep cruising along here. Okay, I think, let's see. We are ready to do our drawing because I've got more fun stuff. I want to flip the camera down and show you guys. But um, yeah, let's do our next drawing. So if you, okay, names are in there. If you ordered online through me <clears throat> anytime after our last Facebook Live, you get both of these beautiful Seaside Wishes cards that I showed on our last Facebook Live as a thank you for your order. You also get to pick from the free embellishment in May, which were the, these are the basic gray and smoky slate pearls, beautiful, or the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial featuring this awesome project. So check this out, right? Isn't this cool? What a cool, like, fun fold. Actually goes one more. I think I even have like a little love note on there, right? Ah, uh, Susan, you don't have any of the new ink colors yet. Okay, you can you can still participate in the ink color club if you would like to. This card actually features some of our beautiful new ink colors. We have peach pie, petunia pop, and pretty in pink right on there. So beautiful, right? Okay, so again, you can pick from the Demo Design Dream Team PDF, PDF tutorial that shows you how to make that card or the free embellishment as your thank you. Plus you get those two cards and your name is in the drawing to win this poised peony stamp set. Love this stamp set. I've been playing with it a bit and I want to play with it some more. Okay, so in here I have a couple of names. We're gonna toss them around and one lucky winner will get the poised peony stamp set. All right. And it is Miss Bonnie Simon. All right, congratulations, Bonnie. I will put the poised peony stamp set out on the board for you to pick up at your convenience. Along with, I think she said you wanted the free embellishment. So check this out. For Bonnie's online order, this is a great example, right? She wanted the free embellishment. <clears throat> She's gonna get these two cards from me and she gets the poised peony stamp set. So look at all of that awesome stuff as a thank you for your order, which I truly appreciate. You guys know that, I hope, right? Um, okay, so <clears throat> I am, this is on order, so I don't have it quite yet, but for our next Facebook Live, if you order through me, you're gonna get the projects, these cute little treat boxes. You're gonna get those as a thank you from me. You're gonna to get to pick from the free embellishment for June, which I need to figure out, or the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial for June. And your name is gonna go in the drawing. Let's see if I can get this flipped around. This is called the Happiest Day stamp set. So can you guys see the cute little butterfly right there? So you can stamp the butterfly and then on the inside right there, right? Um, I'm going to flip this around so I can see. Looks like maybe you can maybe like make a little rainbow right there, I would say. And then sentiments. So excited for you. There's a teeny tiny one that says, hey, you're the best thinking of you today and every day. Wishing you the happiest birthday, which I love that font, right? That one right there. And then this one right here, which is another great font. It says, you make me feel like glitter in the sun. How about that, huh? If someone made you feel like glitter in the sun, that'd be pretty fabulous, I'd say. Okay, so that's the stamp set that we're gonna give away. Like I said, it's on order. I will have it here in my hot little hands for our next Facebook Live. So order through me and your name goes in the drawing to win that happiest day stamp set. Okay, I think, are we ready? Let's see. Oh, I know one more thing. I forgot to mention, we have a sale coming up starting actually next week on Wednesday, June 5th. 
you get an extra 10%. So it kind of cut off, right? But I have another little flyer, but it's not quite as fun, right? This one's prettier with the petunia pop on it. Uh, so yes, you get an extra 10% off of stamp and die bundles. So not stamp and punch bundles, stamp and die bundles only. So instead of 10% discount, you get a 20% discount on our bundles, stamp and die bundles only starting June 5th, running through the end of the month. The other, haha, <laughs> yes, waiting for the sale. I know, me too, me too, Susan. So the other thing is we are um, giving 10% off of the die cutting and embossing machines. So the big, like the full die cutting and embossing machine and the mini die cutting and embossing machine, including the white one and the pretty boho blue die cutting machine too, the little mini machine. So yes, 10% off on die cutting machines, 20% off on stamp and die bundles starting on June 5th, running through the end of the month, so through June 30th. So keep that in mind. That starts next Wednesday, okay? So maybe you want to wait. I can give you the host code. I'll do that in just a little bit. You guys know, too, the host code is always on my blog at gatheringinkspiration.com, okay? And then I try to, whenever I post my Facebook Friday deals, the... Um, host code should be listed on there as well. So make sure you use the host code, then you get all the freebies that I just told you about. Um, yeah, and then you can get that 20% off of stamp and die bundles starting on Wednesday also. Okay. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Talking, talking, talking. Okay, we are, yeah, okay, here we go. Let's kind of clear things off. <laughs> A little bit here if we can, right? Okay, let's see, this can go down here, this can go here. All right, I think we're good. Let's move these things out of the way too. Okay, all right, um, we're gonna flip the camera down. And I'm gonna show you a few more things. Oopsie, okay, sorry, I'm like kind of flitting around here. Uh, sip of water too. Mm-hmm. Okay, let me get my host code out here. What is that? I'm seeing like a a gem. I have to figure out. There's like a teeny tiny little gem right there. I gotta just put that aside. It came off of something somewhere, I think, but I don't know where right now. So figure that out later. Okay, so turn your heads away. We are flying through the air. We're gonna flip the camera down after. Okay. This happened the other day too, didn't it? I should have probably checked to make sure this was all. I think we're good now though. Okay, so let's see, we're gonna flip the camera. There we go. Okay, so there's our pretty paper. You guys wanna see it again? This is what we're gonna play with in just a few moments. Isn't that gorgeous? So Mediterranean Blooms Designer Series paper. I love, I think because I was so surprised. Like usually they're similar tones on the other side. So to have all these beautiful blues on this side and then the bright oranges and yellows, right? It's like two totally different packs of designer series paper, but absolutely beautiful. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna give you the host code. So this is our host code, the uh, WS93Z6QK is what you'll wanna use that host code to order online through me. And let me, I'm gonna move this up and over. I think you guys can see my fingers down there, right? I have to grab my glasses. And those are all the way around the craft table. Okay, hold on, maybe this will help me. Now, can I tell, can you guys see? Yeah, you can see my fingers. Okay, perfect. All right, so I wanna show you guys these scrapbook pages that we made this week at class. <clears throat> so here is one of our pages. Can you guys see? Right, so there's, so 12 by 12. Thank you, Susan, I love. So it's this beautiful, it is that thoughtful journey designer series paper with that fun sentiment. You make my heart bloom. Beautiful, right? And the petunia pop, so we got petunia pop and pool party on that one. And then here's the other <clears throat> kind of coordinating other half of this two page spread. So more thoughtful journey designer series paper. We used some of those in color shimmer gems, which I totally love. And I love this sentiment right here too. It says, so lucky to know you. And again, so we've got our peach pie 
ribbon, right? And then our petunia pop cardstock there too. So beautiful scrapbook pages. I loved putting those together this month. All right, I think we are ready. Let's see if we just kind of leave that right there for now, right? Yeah, I think we are good to go. Just trying to make sure. I feel like there was something else, but I guess not. Okay, so where is my scoring tool? Oh, I did. It's all ready to go. <laughs> I was trying to make sure that I'm all prepared here. Okay, so which one do I want to show you guys? I guess we're going to do this one first, right? Okay, so we've got this. Oh, I did want to. Yeah, okay. We'll do that in a sec. Okay, so here we go. This is one of my all-time favorite little treat boxes, I think, because you can just slide this belly band off. So this thing, you just slide this off. And I think there's something about it. It's like so professional looking. And then you open that up just like that. So I think, let me show you what goes nicely in there. Just so you guys get an idea of sizing. So like a little uh, York peppermint patty fits perfect in there, right? Also the uh, Ghirardelli chocolates. Well, read. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Teresa. I'm glad that you love this box. Me too. So you guys have seen, I have made this a million times. Um, so you're probably like, hey, I've seen this before, but I tell you what, every single time I make it, it looks different. And so I think it's fun and fresh and new. Even if it's the same old box, you um, add new um, designer series paper. So there's the designer series paper, right? With the blues on the inside and then the beautiful orange, yellow, and green on the outside. Yeah, so also if I didn't say that the Ghirardelli chocolate fits in there perfectly too. You could probably even put a couple of York peppermint patties or chocolates in there too. So then you just kind of fold that up and slide that back right inside. It's probably easier to do it on the other side where the leaves are not, but then that just slides right back on there. So I'm going to show you guys how we make this today because my good friend Linda had suggested, let's let's see some treat boxes. So I'm like, oh, Linda, I can do treat boxes. That is for sure. Okay, so let's see. Let me get my directions and stuff here. I've got one die floating around and now I'm like really afraid I'm going to lose it. Oh, so what stamp set is the hello from? From the Poised Peony stamp set that Miss Bonnie Simon just won, right? So love the peonies, right? Which my peonies are blooming. I don't know if anybody else has peonies. Um, I inherited them when I bought this house. There are a couple of peony plants and they are just gorgeous. Um, but then there's that cute little hello. We've got this in my thoughts and best birthday wishes as well. Okay. Um, and then I'll show you everything else as we actually are using it, right? Okay, so let's just kind of get these things out and we're ready to go. All right. Because I know I'm going to need, I got my little directions here. Okay. So this is like my little template that I've had for forever. So I want to show you how this piece here, we'll do it this way. This piece of Daffodil Delight cardstock that measures, it is seven inches wide by five and a half inches tall essentially how that cuts and folds into and I'll show you guys so this and this go here and this and this go here and then you put adhesive and then these little flaps stick together it's not gonna it's not like it's not really cooperating maybe if I put it down there we go that and then these fold in and these fold in so that's how you make right so from it's just so funny, I think, from this simple piece of cardstock, you can make that super cute box. Um, oh, Susan, yes, you took pictures of yours this morning and posted. Oh, awesome. I'm going to have to check those out. Yeah, just love summer for that, right? All the beautiful flowers that are blooming now for us. Totally. All right. So, yeah, I'm going to be, I'm excited now, Susan. I. It's been a really busy, busy week, so I haven't had much time to do fun stuff, like see what people are posting on Facebook, but I am going to do that this weekend. Check it out, right? Okay, so let's actually scoot this out of the way. So I'm going to show you guys how we're going to do this. <clears throat> Is that going to work on there? I think, I think it's going to work. Okay, so on the long side, we are going to score at two and three-eighths inch, 
and at four and five eighths inch, okay? And then on the short side, the five and a half inch side, we're gonna score at three quarters, at one and a half, at four, and four and three quarters, okay? So can you kind of see how that is kind of coming together, right? Yeah, <laughs> they make you smile, yes. Flowers make me smile too, Susan, absolutely. Okay, so let me grab my scissors. <clears throat> so we are going to just cut along all of the score lines. And you may have wanted to fold first. I don't know. Sometimes I do. Although, you know what? I think I am because um, there, we're going to just kind of fold along all the score lines. I'm having a harder time seeing where the score lines are. So if I fold on them, that makes it a little bit easier. So we're going to just cut up along both of those and then cut off that other one. So we're going to do the same thing on each of these, right? So we're gonna cut up. It's funny how I'm really having a hard time kind of seeing this. I keep saying that, right? I really need to go to the eye doctor. I haven't had good luck um, getting glasses, like doing the whole eye doctor thing, so I am just not, I don't look forward to it. It's kind of a big pain in the butt and then it never really helps, so. You know, I'm not a big fan of wasting time, which is kind of what I felt like happened the last time. Or money. <laughs> Don't want to waste time or money. Who else feels like that, right? Okay, so that's the basic idea, right? You just cut up along one, cut up along the other, and then cut off, okay? So then you end up, right? So this is where we're at now. <laughs> Thanks, Susan. I'm glad you think I'm doing great. I appreciate it. Okay, so now we are going to, so any corner rounder punch that you have, right? I'm going to put this back in view so you can see. So we want to round each of these. And this is what I think makes it look so professional, are the little corner rounds that you do. So we're going to do that one and that one, right? Because I don't know, there's something about um, the square edges, how much better. Like, look at, so those are the rounded ones and these are the squared ones. I feel like the rounded edges make it look so much more professional, okay? And then we're also going to do on these little tabby guys right here. Sorry, I'm kind of flipping. So we're going to do that one. You have to kind of keep flipping flipping the flaps <laughs> so that you can use your corner rounder, right? Uh, so let's see. I was a little bit off on that one, wasn't I? Okay, so we're going to just do that. We're going to put that right there and then flip this one. We're gonna do that right there, okay? Yeah, I've got these little, those little things bug me, so I gotta get rid of those. It was like I couldn't quite see, but when you then when you fold it, one more, okay. So normally if you cut, if you can see, <laughs> that, that's really helpful, then you can cut a little bit better than I did, but you get the idea, right? Okay, so that, and we'll do a double check and make sure, does that template look the same? I think it does, right? Okay, so that's it. There, there's your box. Now, to put it together, you can see here, I've got my little note. So you're gonna put adhesive on just these two pieces right here. So I'm gonna grab my Seal Plus, and I'm gonna run that there, and then I'm gonna run that there. And you're gonna see why I only did it on one side, right? Because we're gonna flip this one in, and the adhesive is right here. Okay, and I like to work with it down on my, what's that called? My Stampin' Glass mat, because I want it to be flat on here. So fold that one in with the adhesive and flip that one in, and we're gonna just pull these. And so this isn't even attached really, but it doesn't matter, okay? And then that goes together like that. Isn't that so, it's so cute, so simple, so easy. And then your little chocolate or your whatever that was, I feel like I'm gonna eat that. I'm gonna eat that right when we're done. <laughs> The York, the York peppermint patty sounds really good right now, you guys. Okay, so then we have this strip of designer series paper. This piece measures eight inches by two inches, okay? And we are gonna just add some, I like to use tear and tape because I wanna hold it together. Now the big thing is, 
and I don't want to smoosh it too. I like it to pop up just a little bit. So when you wrap this around, you don't want to make it super duper tight and you don't need to score or do anything. I just kind of want to gently touch that. And then you can kind of pinch the edges if you want. But do you see how it's popping up just a little bit? I kind of like that, okay? So then that, and then also, so if it's if it's super tight, then it's not gonna be as easy to slide on and off. And I love kind of being able to gift something and tell them, hey, eat the little candy inside and enjoy this little box. And when you're done enjoying it, put some more candy in it and give it to somebody else. So that's my whole, you know, reduce, reuse, recycle <laughs> kind of idea in life, right? Um, plus, you know, then you can, like brighten somebody else's day too, okay? All right, so then from there, we are going to, let's bring this back in view, because that'll help me. <laughs> that'll help me too, okay. So we're gonna stamp our hello, again, from our poised peony stamp set. We're gonna use, um, this is pumpkin pie ink. We're using that because there's pumpkin pie right in the designer series paper. Okay, so that's all we're gonna do. We're gonna just stamp that cute little hello. All right, and then we are gonna do some die cutting. So you guys, I don't know if you could even see that, right? We are, let me show you what dies we're gonna use. Okay, so for the green, the garden green, we're gonna use, these are the stitched shape dies. So we're gonna use the third smallest green one, okay? Then over on, oh, that's why this is like just laying out here. Let me show you. That one is from, we're using it on the next one too, so I've got that over here. Yes, okay. Unbounded Love dies, okay? So there are two circles. So we're gonna use the larger circle right there on the hello, again, from the Unbounded Love dies. And I'll show you these a little bit more when we do our next project, okay? And then we are also going to use, these are the Citrus Blooms dies, which of course coordinate with the Designer Series paper. And we are gonna use these little leaves. I'm gonna use both of those on our Garden Green cardstock as well, okay? All right, so I think that's good. We're gonna scoot these, actually let's move these over here. So I'm gonna grab my die cutting machine. Now don't forget guys, this is 10% off. Here we go, starting on June 5th. <laughs> so <laughs> maybe you guys will get a kick out of this. I don't know. I was just, I had to get myself situated. Oh, that's not even it. Where is it? I'm still... <laughs> I know every single one of you told me, get rid of this. Don't use this anymore. And I just can't do it. Once it cracks all the way in half, then it will go in the trash. But I think I posted a picture of this. It's definitely losing some pieces there, but I don't like to show it, you know, that I still actually use it on Facebook Live, but I had to move it out of the way. <laughs> okay. All right. So we are going to do our die cutting now, right? So we've got these pieces here. I'm gonna do our little hello. Okay, so that's the only one. Everything else just needs to be on the paper. It doesn't need to be centered or anything crazy. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> I know, Susan, it's sad. Yeah, when I posted that, people were like, oh my gosh, you're gonna hurt yourself. Get rid of that thing. I haven't, I shouldn't, I should like knock, knock on something, right? I haven't hurt myself yet. Okay, so there's, wait, you guys need to see that again, right? So this is the new... So again, from the Unbounded Love die, it's a little bit different stitching on that circle as opposed to, can you guys see the difference, right? Uh, hello, Miss Rosa, welcome, welcome. So these are little dots and these are dashes. The dashes are separated a little bit and the dots are super close together. If you guys can kind of see that, right? And then let's see, then we've got these leaves. Oh good, they did pop right out of here. So these are really pretty too, aren't they, right? So we're gonna use, oops, flip that one over. Use those two leaves as well. From, what did I say those were? Again, the Citrus Blooms dies. okay? All right, so let's just scoot these guys. Okay, there we go. I think I need that circle for another one, so I'm gonna keep that right there. Okay, so we're good, we're good, we're good. I think, I think, I think. <laughs> 
All right, so let me show you now. I'm gonna kind of put things together. I need some adhesive too, All right? Okay, so let's bring this back into view so you guys can see what's going on. We will put these little babies together. I need some adhesive and some dimensionals. Okay, I think we have what we need now, right? Okay, so we are going to put some adhesive on our little hello. Put that on our circle, okay? Add a couple of dimensionals behind here. And actually here, let's see. Probably should have put these underneath maybe before. Let's see, we'll just try this. Okay, so we're gonna peel those off. We're gonna put our little hello right about there and then yeah, we're gonna just kind of lift this up because I like these to kind of go right underneath. So put that one there and we're gonna put that one there and then fold those back down. Okay, now we are gonna tie some of, this is the last year's in colors, the 2325 in color jute trim and pebbled path. I forgot the name of this, I think on a recent Facebook Live, but we're gonna tie. And if you just kind of, pull on that a bit. I like it to be a little bit kinky and um, in, instead of being like super straight, but sometimes it's, it's a little extra kinky. Okay, so we're gonna just tie a bow right around here. But I do love, it's very like hearty, substantial twine. So I really love that about it. Okay, cut that one right there. And then this thing, okay. So you can just have some fun playing with those little curly cues, right? And then lastly, we are going to use, these are called the adhesive backed dots for days. <laughs> That's kind of fun, right? All right, let me grab my little snips here. Oops, those are not my snips. They're hiding down in here. Okay, here we go. And we're gonna add, so a little crushed, Crushed curry, I think it is, which is very similar to Daffodil Delight and a little garden green. We're gonna add a couple of those little dots right there and there. And there is our cute little treat box, right? Again, that just little belly band just slides right off. Put your chocolate, whatever you want, little love note, whatever you would like to put inside there. And there you go. So cute, right? Okay, so there is project number one. Let me just, we're gonna clean this off real quick because I'm gonna toss this back in here. Okay, I think we're good. Let's get all this stuff out of the way, okay? We will get ready to do our next project. Okay, all right, we'll just put those right over there, right? And this and this and this. Okay, I think we're organized enough. <laughs> the never ending okay so here is our next little treat box so this is my other absolutely favorite this one I'm pretty sure my friend Melissa Roberts made a version of this I don't know how long ago but I have made I'll show you guys over the years these are just a couple of them I've made this a number of times as well right so you can see Every single one of them looks different based on the colors that you're using, the just the motif, right? But um, yeah, just how fun they can be, right? Okay, so whatever you need a little treat box for. So I've got that little for you. So this one does not, I guess you could slide, you could slide that off, right? And then this just opens up. So it's just a little box. And again, you could put, put um, some, Ghirardelli chocolates in there, some York peppermint patties, whatever, you know, I'm always thinking candy, right? Chocolate, whatever you like can go inside there. Okay, so this one is super duper simple. Basically, let's get these things back there too, right? Okay, so all you need, two pieces, this is garden green cardstock, okay? 
if I haven't said this before, all of the measurements, colors, item codes, everything you need to know to order and recreate these projects will be on my blog at gatheringinkspiration.com this afternoon. Okay, so this measures five and a quarter by four inches. So we have two pieces of garden green, five and a quarter by four inches. All right, all you do, ladies. So this is like not even a half a sheet of garden green cardstock. Makes this cute little box, okay? So you are gonna score at one inch on all four sides. So just flipping this around, okay? So there's the bottom one. The top one you wanna use, um, where'd they go? Like, uh, I don't know, a slew of stickies or something. <laughs> I just use, I, I have my little note that says, use this stack to score the tops and lids. So these are just like little random kind of pieces of paper that I just tuck inside there just to, so again, I'm going to score it at one inch, but it's going to be a teensy weensy bit bigger. And this will be for the box top. And that'll make it a little bit just that little bit bigger. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure to put this one aside over here so that I know. Okay, that's the top. So we're gonna make the bottom first and then we'll do the top, okay? So again, you're gonna fold on all of the score lines. And this one, I wanna kinda of trim the corners just a bit. Just makes it a little bit easier to make the box and not have things sticking up when you put these little tabs in, if you just kind of cut these down a little bit, okay? So we're gonna do that one, and that one, and that one, okay? And then, look at that little bit right there. Okay, come on, there we go. Let's get that stuff out of the way. Grab this piece again, okay. So all we wanna do is fold these in and then adhere like that. So we're gonna just put adhesive on these four, the outside tabs, okay? So we're gonna run that and that. And I love using my little silicone mat. Okay, so you just line up the scored line right here with the edge of the box. Put those together and then same thing here. That one's gonna go there. And this is what I meant by if you trim that down a little bit, then if that's a little bit tall, you don't see it sticking up. Okay, so there's the bottom of your box, right? We're gonna do the same thing with the top of our box. So we're just gonna cut these things just a smidge, okay? And I, I don't know, I always like working in the same corner. Somehow it's easier for me. And that one, so I just keep flipping the paper around and working in that kind of bottom right corner the whole time. And these don't even have to look the same, these little guys, right? In terms of size, I guess I'll say, like those little snips there. Okay, we're gonna just fold these in all along here. Philomena, hello! How are you, lady? It's good to see your name popping up on here. I hope all is well. We're making some little treat boxes today. So this is the lid that we're making now. Okay, so we're gonna just fold these in here and here. And then this one goes here. And that one goes there, okay? So there we go. We're gonna put the lid right on the bottom of our box. Okay, so that fit nicely, that worked out. Okay, next <clears throat> we have a couple of pieces of cardstock and designer series paper. This is Daffodil Delight cardstock that measures, let me make sure. Yes, okay, so it is. <laughs> All of a sudden I'm like, ooh, that's like a teeny tiny measurement, but it is supposed to be three and one eighth by one and seven eighths. And then our Mediterranean Blooms designer series paper measures three inches by one and three quarters. So just teeny tiny little bit of Daffodil Delight shows kind of behind that designer series paper. And then there's the beautiful blue and white on that side too. Okay, so we're gonna just add this on right here. Okay, 
So just make sure it's kind of centered all around there. And then add some more adhesive here either. So you can see these boxes are so cute and simple, easy to make, right? Okay, here, we'll bring that back into view. There's our little bow too. Although we're going to, have to do some die cutting in a sec, aren't we? So let's see, we have pieces of, I guess we just need to stamp our little for you. Oh, okay, that is from the Market Goodness stamp set. We're gonna just use that little for you stamp right there. Okay, so we're gonna use Garden Greed ink because that coordinates, you know, the beauty of stamping up, right? The ink and the paper, well, cardstock, designer series paper, embellishments, ribbon, it all goes together. Okay, now we're gonna do our die cutting. So we're gonna scoot those up here and I'll show you where we're getting these things from. Let me grab my die cutting machine first. Okay. And I think I have everything here. <laughs> I'm looking around like, okay, do I have it all? So there we go. So we've got basic white, garden green, and daffodil delight because those are the colors that coordinate. We need these things, right? Okay, so mm, we'll get all of these out and then I'll show you what's left here. Okay, so these are, what did I say these were again? The Unbounded Love. I don't know why, I can't remember. It's part of the Unbounded Beauty Suite, right? Okay, so we're gonna use that little leafy die and then here are the two circles. So you can see one's a little bit bigger than the other but they've got these kind of dashy little stitches and then these are all of the other labels and then leaves and things that are in that unbounded love set of dies gorgeous i have used these a million times already so if you don't have these oh actually order the stamp and die set right the unbounded love stamps and dies because that's a stamp and die bundle order that on june 5th and you get 20 percent discount instead of just a 10 percent discount Right, okay, so here we're gonna crank this handle right here. It's kind of wiggling all over the place. Oh, and you know what though? You know what I, I was gonna say? I didn't, yeah, we didn't need this one. Okay, we're gonna do this again. So save this for another use because let me show you why. I originally did this and when I put that on there, you could barely see that yellow. So I actually didn't use, I only used the smaller die on the sentiment and then I'm like why because I looked down and I'm like why do I have these dies in front of me because I ended up using these are the deckled circles dies so the second smallest yellow it makes it just a little bit bigger okay so let's scoot these things off good I'm glad I hadn't moved that yet that barely fits on there but I think that's gonna work okay we're gonna just crank this back through here okay one more crank, there we go. Okay, yeah, so you'll be able to see that yellow just a tiny bit more when you put that, it's just a little bit bigger. Okay, there we go. Now I figured out what's going on. <laughs> Very proud of myself on that one. Okay. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, bring this back into view again so you can see what's going on. So this and this, this thing. Oh, let's see, what do we want to do? I got to get that thing out of there, right? So we are going to grab this and this and our little paper here. Okay, so sometimes these things come right out, like on the other example. This one, not so much. Okay, here we go. We got most of them, right? Okay, so we're going to just poke this little bit. Good, there we go. That's gonna pop right out there. Okay, so let's just get rid of those. There, okay, can you guys see that little leaf there? Very cute, huh? Okay, scoot this out of the way. All right, so we are going to, actually that is adhesive or a dimensional, okay. So we're gonna put this right here. We're gonna put a dimensional behind this one. Okay, so here we go. We've got our for you, we're gonna put our little leaves. We're gonna just kind of tuck those right there, okay? Then we are gonna add some more adhesive. We're gonna put 
that little baby right about there. And then I had to add a little bit of bling. So I'm using, these are the transparent adhesive backed dots. Okay. And I just added a couple of, I, I call it like chartreuse almost. Um, maybe it's lemon lime twist. That's what I'm thinking, right? Just add a couple of those little babies, right? Can you kind of see those on there? Okay. And then also, let's see, can I cheat? <laughs> Don't even have to make a bow. I'm going to do it. Ha ha. And then just magically tie a bow with your peach pie ribbon and add that on. And there is your other little treat box, your little for you treat box. How fun is that, right? Okay. Thank you ladies so very much for watching today. As always, especially if you're new to Facebook Live, we always love to do the little recap, right? So if you order through me, you're going to get both of these projects as a thank you from me. Your name is going to be entered into the drawing to win. This is the, here you can see a little bit better, the Happiest Days stamp set. This one right here, such a cute stamp set. And then you also get to pick from, I'll have the June tutorial shortly, so you can pick from the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or whatever I pick is the free embellishment, which I haven't decided yet. Um, but honestly, I think I have extra of these, so if you'd like a package of pearls, you could have those too, okay? So thank you guys so very much for watching. Make sure this is the host code right here. This is the host code you wanna use to order through me. And I thank you very much for watching today, hanging out, enjoying. I hope you love those little treat boxes and are inspired to make those for friends and family very soon. All right, thanks, bye everybody. Have a great last day of May and we will see you again two weeks from today uh what is it friday june 14th and don't forget if you're in michigan anywhere in michigan come see me on wednesday at the new catalog kickoff and buy one get one free event right here in alma peace lutheran church 325 east warwick drive from 10 a.m to 6 p.m all right thanks bye everybody